Today, we will learn about addition and subtraction of integers. Understanding the addition and subtraction of integers is useful in many situations in our daily life. For example, look at Rahul's bank account. Here, amount credited is expressed with a positive sign and amount debited is expressed with a negative sign. To find the balance, we need to add the balance amount with the debited or credited amount. In this way, addition and subtraction of integers can be used in many situations like finding the total profit, recording the increase or decrease in temperature, etc. Let us suppose the temperature of a certain place is plus 5 degrees centigrade. If it increases by plus 3 degrees, then the new temperature can be found by finding the value of plus 5 plus plus 3. If the signs of the integers are the same, then they are added without sign. After that, the sign is included with the result. While adding two positive integers, we add them without sign and later the plus sign is included in the result 8. That is, it is expressed as plus 8. Similarly, if the temperature is minus 5 degree centigrade and there is a change of minus 3 degree centigrade in the temperature, then the new temperature can be found by finding the value of minus 5 plus minus 3. Here, we are adding two negative integers having the same sign. Therefore, in this case also, we will add them without a sign. Later, the minus sign is included in the result 8. That is, it is expressed as minus 8. Now let us suppose the temperature is plus 5 degrees centigrade and there is a change of minus 3 degrees centigrade in the temperature. So how will you find the new temperature? Think for a while. Let me tell you. It can be found by finding the value of plus 5 plus minus 3. If numbers to be added have different signs, then we ignore the signs and subtract the smaller number from the larger number. Later, the sign of the larger number is included in the result. Here, we subtract 3 from 5 and the sign of the larger number, which is plus, is included in the result, giving us plus 2. Similarly, if we have to find minus 5 plus plus 3, then we first carry out 5 minus 3, which gives the result 2. Then include the sign of the larger number, that is, minus sign of minus 5. Therefore, the answer is minus 2. Addition of integers can also be done on a number line. To find the value of plus 5 plus plus 3 on a number line, mark plus 5 on the number line first. Since 5 is a positive integer, it is located 5 steps towards the right of 0. While adding two integers on a number line, if the sign of the second integer is positive, then move towards the right side of the first integer. If the sign is negative, then move towards the left of the first integer. Since the sign of the second integer is plus, I move three steps towards the right of 5. We now arrive at plus 8. Similarly, if we have to find the value of minus 5 plus minus 3, Move 5 steps towards the left of 0. And since the sign of the second integer is negative, move 3 steps again towards the left of the first integer. We now arrive at minus 8, which is the result of minus 5 plus minus 3. Now suppose we have to find the value of plus 5 plus minus 3 on the number line. How do you think we'll do it? You got it right. To mark plus 5 first, we move 5 steps towards the right of 0. Now to add minus 3 to it, we move 3 steps towards the left of the first integer, resulting in plus 2. Now let's learn how subtraction of integers is done. But before doing so, we need to understand one thing. If the sum of two numbers is 0, then they are additive inverse of each other. For example, plus 5 and minus 5, plus 3, minus 3, 
plus 9 and minus 9, etc. What do you understand by looking at these pairs of numbers? Any thoughts? Let me tell you. Additive inverse of any number is obtained by writing it with the opposite sign. Now that that's understood, let's subtract the integers. Suppose the temperature decreases from plus 5 degrees centigrade to a minus 3 degrees centigrade. Find out the change in temperature. How? Well, in order to do so, we need to subtract the final temperature minus 3 degrees from the initial temperature of plus 5 degrees. Whenever we subtract one integer from another, we add the additive inverse of the integer being subtracted to the first integer. In this case, if we want to subtract plus 5 from minus 3, then we add to minus 3 the additive inverse of plus 5. That is, we add minus 5. And we've already learned how to add integers. Here, the addition of minus 3 plus minus 5 is minus 8. In order to find the subtraction of integers on a number line, first, convert subtraction into addition. We later add the numbers to obtain the result. We can also do the subtraction on a number line without conversion. To do this, we find the location of the first integer. While subtracting two integers on a number line, if the sign of the second integer is positive, then we will move towards the left side of the first integer. And if the sign is negative, then we move towards the right side of the first integer. In order to subtract, mark minus 3 on the number line, which is three steps towards the left of 0. Now, since we need to subtract the positive integer plus 5, we move 5 steps towards the left side of minus 3, thus reaching minus 8. Similarly, if we have to find the value of minus 5 minus minus 3, mark minus 5 on the number line, which is 5 steps towards the left of 0. Since we need to subtract the negative integer minus 3, we move 3 steps towards the right side of minus 5. Thus, we reach minus 2 which is the result of minus 5 minus minus 3. Today, we have learned the addition and subtraction of integers. In the next video, we will learn this in a better way with some examples.